All right, guys, we're going to do um, this problem in which it says if data, which is right here, is equal to 60 degrees and the force is equal to 450 newtons, determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. So whatever the resultant force is, which by the parallelogram rule, I can more or less tell you it's going to be right here. You have to measure it from the x-axis all the way over here and express it. So to find the resultant force, all you need to do is add the x and y components of the two forces that you already have, for example. The resultant force on the x-axis would be negative 700 cosine of 15 degrees plus 450 cosine of 60 degrees. And this is equal to negative 451.15 degrees in the i direction which is the x-axis which that is negative because the same in this way and the resultant force on the y is equal to negative 700 sine of 15 degrees plus 450 sine of 60 degrees you're basically adding the y components of each of the forces and you can see that in the y direction this force is much stronger so the answer to this is 208.54 in the y direction which is the j unit vector so the resultant force is equal to negative 451.15 in the i direction plus 208.54 in the j direction. Now what you need to do is you need to convert this to polar notation. And convert this to polar notation by uh, squaring this two and square rooting that so it will be square root of the x square plus the y square and the angle will be the tangent inverse of the y over the x. Now notice <coughs> that this not, will not always give you the angle. Sometimes it will give you like a negative angle or a small angle. You just got to use common sense. It can probably give you this angle, but the angle that they're asking you for is this angle. So all you do is you got to subtract 180 from the whatever this gives you and that will give you the right answer. So the resultant force is equal to 497 at an angle of 155.2 degrees. And this is the final answer.